All right, so here's the last few things from that video. I just ran out of time on the other one. So the last thing that happened was we couldn't save our bomb template directly to our hard drive. So I ended up saving on my desktop. So I'm going to find it here on my desktop. I'm going to right click on it, choose copy. And then I'm going to go to that folder on my C drive. So C program files, SolidWorks Corp, SolidWorks Lang in English. And this is where all of my other bomb templates are at. So I'm going to just paste it in here. And it says I need administrator permission. It should tell you the same thing, but you should be able to hit continue. And then we'll go ahead and paste it in that location. So now it's there, I'll go ahead and minimize those. So then the last thing was, if you remember from this bill of materials, there's this extra row called parts list. So to get that in here, we're gonna click on this four headed arrow. And then these two little triangles at the bottom, just click on those triangles. It'll shoot another row in there. And then you can just highlight that text and replace it with the words parts list. Other than that, everything else should be set up the way it, it needs to be. So we'll go through that process again of saving this. And you'll want to save it on your desktop because if you try to save to the C drive, it'll ask you if you want to replace it. You hit yes. And when I tried it, it didn't actually happen. It looked like it happened, but it didn't. So save it to your desktop and then copy and paste it onto the C drive again. So go ahead and do that now. Okay, so now that you have that, now that we have that done, we can go ahead and test this. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to delete this bill of materials. I'm gonna go ahead and delete this view. And <clears throat> what I've done is I cr clicked on new and I clicked on the Skills USA uh, part and I created two different parts, a cylinder and then a rectangular prism. And then I clicked on new, selected this SATC assembly, and I just inserted those two in there. I didn't make them in place or anything. I just inserted them in there. <clears throat> and so then we are going to come back to our drawing and do a model view. And I had to save all those. And I, so I just saved them on my desktop so I could delete them later. So part four is just my cylinder, part five is my prism so then ssem1 is everything together so i'll click on it and i'll hit open i just need to place a view of it so i'll go ahead and just do that view i can change it to an isometric view so you can see what i did so i've got those now i can try out my bomb table so i'll come over to the annotation tab on the command manager click on tables click on bill of materials click a drawing view click on that star and go to where all these bomb tables are saved at. So that's that C drive, program files, SolidWorks Corp. SolidWorks, Lang, English, and find that one that we just created. So Skills USA with your initials, hit open, and hit the green check mark, and then just place it here somewhere. And so that should match what we did here. So if you get that far, then you can go ahead and start working on that Great Plains project. Go ahead and print this one off so I can see that you actually did it and that it was successful. Then you can go over, work on that Great Plains project and set up a bill materials table and part templates and assembly templates and drawing templates as you need to, to be able to replicate that project as we've been working on. So. Good luck, and I look forward to hearing how things went. Thanks for listening, and thanks for working through this. See you guys soon.